Uh, tonight, take a listen to this wild story out of Prince William County. This one may be tough to watch to a family living in Woodbridge. It was sitting down for a barbecue on the back porch when an arrow flew right into their backyard, piercing their dog. A little small Yorkie named Mikey is recovering tonight. He looks like he's doing OK, <laughs> but police are trying to figure out who shot Mikey with that arrow. Oh. The family welcomed our Evan Kosloff into their home today to talk about a scary situation. Now the good news to share right out of the gate is that the dog is going to be OK, but this could have been a lot worse and the family just wants to know who did this. After like yesterday, he's been complete change mood, you know, a lot happier, back to normal almost. Medi Heffel of Woodbridge says his six year old teacup Yorkie Mikey is lucky to be alive today after being shot in the neck by an arrow Wednesday evening. Just look at these photos of the moments after Mikey was hit before he was rushed to the vet. Luckily, the way I guess the arrow went in, it was just complete luck on his side. Um, it had caught like loose skin, so there was no blood or anything. It was just like in the skin. We we're all just standing like around this area right here. Medi, who's in town visiting his parents, says this all happened on the back porch of his parents' home on Dulcina Place as they were getting ready to grill. That's when they heard Mikey start to cry. Um, next thing you know, we see him with like an arrow right here. We uh, we all immediately rush inside. We tried to like close all the windows just in case there's like someone still out here. Police say that the arrow that hit Mikey was one of at least three that were fired in the direction of homes on Wednesday. They say one arrow hit the door frame of a neighbor's house. The uh, arrowhead is still in there. And then there was this one, which hit the back window just feet from where Medi and his family were sitting. It's very unusual. I can't even recall the last time that we had uh, an incident involving a bow and arrow of this nature. First Sergeant Jonathan Parak says the big questions now are who did this and was it intentional? We are hoping that because it is a bow and arrow and it's a very unusual type of of weapon that was used that hopefully someone will come forward. I just really hope they find somebody because it's 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 not something people should be worried about. Someone shouldn't have to be outside thinking like, oh man, I hope I don't get with a arrow. Now, Medi tells me that Mikey did need multiple stitches, but is expected to make a full recovery for now. He's getting all the belly rubs and treats he could want. All this as neighbors are eager to find out who did this to make sure nobody else is at risk. Reporting here in Woodbridge, I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.